Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, before I start showing you how to make uh, the tutorial, uh, how to, to make the image even that you can see in front of you, um, just like to say a big thank you to everyone who's you know been viewing the videos and the channel and subscribing and leaving some comments. Please do subscribe, guys. Um, it's great to know you know the people watching out out there and you know and enjoying the video. So please leave me um, some more comments um, if you need any help at all. Um, get stuck or if you have an idea for maybe the next tutorial you'd like to see me do or you'd like done um, let me know send me a message or you know leave me a comment on one of my videos um, oh yeah another thing is that this will probably be my last tutorial for uh, about a week now until this uh, until next weekend uh, because I've just bought the new MacBook Pro I'm in the process of just you know getting all my software on that and getting to grips with all that along with my recording software. So uh, hopefully by next weekend uh, this will all be done and I'll have uh, one or two new tutorials uh, that I've done on my Mac um, up and ready for you. Um, okay, I think that's it. Yep. So let's get started. So first of all, you want to go to uh, File New or Control on your keyboard. Oh, uh, that raises another good point actually. Uh, in, if I, you know, when I get all um, my software installed for my Mac, um, I'll try and include in my tutorials the shortcut keys for the Mac as well. So if what we just did there would have been uh, File New, Control N your keyboard for a Windows user, or the Command and N key, I think, uh, for a Mac user. Okay, so you want to set the width to uh, 640 and the height to 480, and hit Enter or click OK. Uh, double click to open up the background layer, we're not actually going to need it, but um, we'll delete that in a little bit. Um, right, uh, you want to go over here to your text tool, and the font we're going to select today is Impact, regular, 100 point, uh, crisp is fine. Uh, I'm going to center align it and use black, um, because it's, well, you need to use black because otherwise the effect won't work. But you don't have to center align it. I think it just looks better. And in fact, I'm going to capitalize my text as well. Burst. Oop. No. Burst. There we go. Click OK. Get that into the center. You've got to align this text where you want it to now on the page, because moving it afterwards can be a bit of a problem. Um, because when we create the effect, as you can see. You've got this back black background that is actually fixed to the image uh, layer. So um, unless you want to then cut round it all again, which could be a bit of a pain. Here. It's best to get it in the position that you want it now. Um, okay, so once that's done, um, we're then going to duplicate the layer. We're going to go to filter and blur. Blur, Gaussian blur. Yes, we want to rasterize it. Four pixels. Okay, and once we've done that, we then need to go to Edit, Fill, White, 100%, Multiply, and OK. And select Multiply on this, which will then put the white background in. So if we remove that, you can see there's actually almost like a black drop shadow um, around the text. Uh, we're going to hide that text layer now for a little bit um, for this next effect. And you want to go to Filter, you want to go down to Stylize, and then click on Solarize. And there you are, that gives the uh, glowing outline. If you show the text over, it deletes a little bit of it. Um, we'll show you how you can use that more effectively later on. <clears throat> right, to make that a bit brighter, what you need to do is press Control l on your keyboard. This will bring up the levels. And you need to select this slider. So in fact, let's move that over there. This slider, this white slider, right at the end here, and just drag it to the first point where you can see um, the black mark on the histogram, which will then get you this slider. You know, you can play around with these, you know, to add more if you want. But uh, that's good there. And click OK. When you've done that, you need to duplicate the layer again. So just uh, left click, uh, hold down, and drag it down to the new layer uh, icon down here. And that's done. And with that one, you're then going to want to go to uh, image, image rotation, and 90 degrees clockwise. Oh, sorry, I've missed that step. Cancel that. Go back to the, go back to this. Uh, control uh, Z or uh, Control Z or Control Shift Z. 
Um, go to filter, distort, polar coordinate, and polar to rectangle. Which, if we hide that, we'll do that. So hide that layer as well, because you don't want to see that at the moment. Um, <clears throat> then go to image, uh, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. And then when you get there, you want to go to filter, distort. No, not distort. Sorry, again, stylize, wind. Uh, you want to do it by wind, and then uh, from the right. Let's do that, and then press Control F on your keyboard twice more. <clears throat> and uh, that will do it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I've done it wrong again. <laughs> you can tell I haven't practiced this one too much. Right, just do Control Alt Z until you get back to that one. Um, sorry, you need to press Control I on your keyboard. This will invert it and get rid of the black. That's what we need to do first of all. Then you can go ahead and go uh, and do the wind effect three times. There we go. And then once you've done that, you will need to. Do, 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 do. Oh, I've forgotten. Let me, see. Let me I'm just going to check my note for this one. Two six. That was it. Right. So once, so once you've done that, we then need to invert the image again. Control I, and then we need to use the wind effect three more times to get to that. We then need to press Control L on our keyboard. And we're going to change the levels again, but we're not going to change it this time. We're going to get Photoshop to do it. So just hit auto and you'll see it lightens up and that's fine. And then we want to go to image, image rotation. And we're going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise this time again. Um, and you'll get back to that. And then we want to go to filter, stylize. No, not stylized, sorry, distort, I'm getting all the wrong ones today. Polar coordinate. And then uh, change it to rectangle, rectangular bipolar. Click OK, and then you get this effect. If you then put that effect on top of it, it doesn't look so good. So what we need to do is we just need to change that to, dun, 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 to screen. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. And that's where you get the effect from. It cuts this, the effect down a little bit and you get the light over the top. So if you're happy with that, you can leave it there. If you want, you can put the text layer back over it, which actually, you know, cuts out um, some of the glow uh, and the blur, which makes it a bit sharper if you want that. That's fine. If you're happy with that, you can leave it there. If not, i take that off and hit a new layer. And we're going to drag that above. Uh, change the layer blend mode to color to start with and select your gradient tool over here pick out a gradient you want in fact I'm not going to use red this time I'm going to use a green so I've got my green and my blue there and drag it that way and then you've got you've got that or if you drag it down you can pretty much separate the colors out so if I do there and there you've got the you know two separate colors let's make that a bit longer that way that's it uh, and there you are that is your effect there I've just cropped mine slightly from my first one uh, again you can apply that over the top again if you want which kind of cuts the image out a little bit um, there are other ways of doing that cut out um, but actually I quite like it with the blurred and glowy edges you know you can also get rid of that by just taking away your because once you've got you know the almost uh, you know glowing light effect uh, on that but you know it's a really simple effect not difficult to do uh, so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you know please subscribe and comment cheers